Hi everyone, welcome to my SIRS database of procedures project. I will now do my best to introduce to you how to set up and use a high-speed Casio camera for motion analysis. When filming using this camera, you should definitely use a tripod to make sure the video is as accurate as possible. So for motion analysis, it is crucial to place the tripod in the same position each time. After taking the tripod out of its case, make sure you extend the legs and secure them by locking them using the clamps on the sides. Elongate the legs um, to the perfect distance and then you can adjust accordingly. Um, depending on the height of your table, etc. Um, just make sure to place it the same way for accuracy. Once it's on the floor, adjust the top of the tripod to make sure the camera can be placed as suitably as possible. Then pull down the nozzle on the tripod in order to attach the camera to the top piece of the tripod and make sure it's secure. Then, for the reach and grasp cycle, which I will discuss more thoroughly later, you will need colored tape for the test subject you're filming. For beginners, you'll use this tape to put on three different joints on the upper body, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. Oh, and you can finish that with a thumbs up. Then, once you've turned on the camera, you can go ahead and press the red icon that looks like a camera. That'll get you to the proper screen. Then change it from standard to high speed, which is HS. And once you do that, click on menu. And the screen will show up three different icons or tabs and click on quality. Go down to high speed. And you can choose the frames per second that you want. You can do either 300, 600, or 1200. 1200 is the most. Then you can go ahead and press record which is a red button, and then you can record um, your test subject doing the reach and grasp cycle, which we will discuss later. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the motion analysis software to construct angle measures for the reach and grasp cycle. Okay, so let me start by discussing the reach and grasp cycle with you all before we talk about the software itself. Um, for many people with abnormalities or deficiencies in their upper limbs, there needs to be a different type, different types of assessments or evaluations out there to target the weaknesses. Um, in many affected populations, um, for instance, people with Parkinson's, this is vital. Um, so the recent grasp cycle or task is one that has many benefits to it. In this task, the task subject is asked to place a bottle in initial position, then to extend it all the way then drink it, and then put it back to initial position. This is helpful because there are five different phases to this reach and grasp cycle. Initial, reach and grasp, target, reach and release, and return. These five phases are useful because with the aid of a motion analysis software, you can find the angles of flexion and extension of each phase. I will go in depth and explain more as I teach you how to use one area of the software analysis and its implications. Let's begin. After you download the software, click on the icon that appears on your desktop. Um, once the startup option shows up, um, enter your license key and press OK. Once the select your sport or activity option comes up, um, click on any one that seems fit. I would go with athletics and gen generic. Then you can open up a new folder for your profile or the test subject's profile. In this case, I'll name it Service Database Project. And then this this helps you keep organized and help manage your profile. And you can go on to fill in the rest of the options, like the gender. And then you can press OK. Then press OK again and press OK once more. Then in order to import videos, click on the yellow arrow that appears on the top, or top left corner. And then you have two import options. Click the one that is suitable. And then browse in order to upload your videos. And then press OK. 
and then an import summary will show up and after you view it press OK. Then in order to open your videos click on the open folder. Um, click the video you want to open. Open it. If you'd like to view the video at a different speed, there are yellow arrows at the bottom of the screen that represent different speeds that you can play the video at. So the bigger the arrow, the greater the speed. So the biggest arrow is the standard time while the smallest is a fraction. Also in order to view different parts of the video, you can use the button all the way in the bottom to scroll from left to right. Using this scroller, we're going to scroll to the right until we hit the target position of the test subject. This target position was mentioned earlier in part two. Now click on the draw angle icon to the left of the screen in order to create an angle. Use the colored tape as reference um, and those are the three joints that you're going to need to form this angle. Make sure to um, form an angle using the bottom tip of the tape. Now, in order to keep yourself organized, you can label the picture um, that you created the angle on using the draw text icon to the left of the screen. You can use this for printing or just organizing yourself. So after you click on the draw text icon, a text box will appear and you can change the size of the font. Um, and then, so for this case, you can label it target position. Now in order to save this, you can click on the drawing tab at the top and click on save in library. After you do this, you can um, give it a descriptive name, so target would suffice. And there you have it. So the final product would look something like this. This is initial position. This is the reach and grasp position. This is the target position. This is the release position. And finally, this is the return position. There are many successful applications to using this motion analysis software and performing the reach and grasp task. Some of them include identifying weaknesses in the upper limbs during the five phases of the cycle. You can also create a standard or deviated curve graph of the angle measures that you record during the duration of the cycle to use as a comparison mechanism of different populations. And because there are many different options on the software, there are also many more applications as well. Well, that concludes my presentation. I hope this was helpful.